<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back. Since the last time we talked or rather saw each other, my friend and I have had two days of transit. Uh, when we were leaving Paso Vergara, uh, my friend lost his drone. So yesterday we had a little uh, rescue mission. We actually found the drone <laughs> 20 hours after he lost it. It was on top of the mountain, but we managed to recover it, which was really cool. I was so completely scared in yesterday morning when I woke up and I realized that I have to go up that mountain again. But I'm so glad I decided to go with him because I actually learned to ride off-road. And I'm really happy about that. Anyways, we, we managed to recover the drone. We afterwards traveled for 200 kilometers south to the city of Chilan. We slept there over the night. And today we traveled another 200 kilometers until the town of Victoria. When we reached Victoria, we turned left, I mean east, because we are now in the Araucania region, which is the home of the volcanoes in Chile. The plan for today is to go to the Lonquimay volcano and then uh, cross on a secondary road to the volcano of Pucón. So this is what we are doing right now. The roads here are fantastic. The asphalt is really smooth. There, were, there are no uh, potholes. It's really nicely marked. And I particularly like the yellow marking because it makes me feel like I'm in California or something like that. And another thing, the more we are going south, the vegetation changes. And I think you can actually see for yourselves that we have a lot more green around us. The GPS has no idea where we are. <laughs> And that's actually the volcano of Lonquimay. I don't know if you can see it on the film. It's right there in the clouds. We are now heading towards volcano Pucón on this side road, which we were expecting to be off-road, but it seems that it's, uh, the asphalt is really good. So it's been built up. Three kilometers later, no more asphalt. I can no longer see the road. Fuck. I am sorry we cannot see the volcanoes. It's really cloudy. But my friend and I were thinking that maybe we can uh, come back to this place when the weather clears up a bit. Because this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever seen in my life. It's, it, it, I don't know, it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen with this volcanic ash. And I mean, this vegetation here, look at this. Oh man, it's amazing. So let's hope we have enough time to come back here. Okay, so the rain stopped a little and this is one of the most amazing places I've ever been in my life. Look at this. It's just, it, this feels like another planet. Oh my God. I gotta stop and see how this thing feels. I don't know, I've never been to Mars. Oh man. It feels like burnt stone, which I think it actually is. Whoa. 
Okay, let's see what this thing feels to ride on. What do you say? Huh? <laughs> but for this, I need to go back because I cannot get up here. Whoa. <laughs> it's not sand, it's not soft, it's like this really strange powder. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Almost lost the front there. This is amazing, man. <laughs> Loved it. Hello, welcome back to the Congillo National Park and the Jayama Volcano. This is the second day, we're back. And as I promised yesterday, I brought the drone. <laughs> it's <laughs> just that it's raining like fuck and it's windy and I cannot fly the drone. So there goes my plan for some nice footage. We knew it was raining, it was already raining where we stayed last night, but yesterday, the whole day, it was sunny here where I am right now. And all around us it was raining, so we were actually kind of hoping that today would be the same. But as you can <laughs> probably see by yourselves, it's not. It's raining like really bad and it's really windy. And I'm really sorry I didn't get to fly the drone here, but what can you do? And as I said yesterday, it feels like another planet. It's unbelievable. Especially now with the rain and everything. I got a little stuck, but I'm out. What is it? What is it? Let's go. Oh. <laughs> 